sun and CO2 to make glucose, the sugar that they use for food. They also put oxygen into the air so we can share because oxygen is everywhere. Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about some of the common types of relationships, biological relationships we can find within an ecosystem, such as heliopathy or mutualism. We're going to do in this video, we're going to cover the next top one, which says describe the role of decomposers in ecosystems. So we have to describe means we have to be able to say what exactly is their role, not just be able to say, okay, they have to do this and this, but more detail. Describe means more detail. So it says describe the role of decomposers in ecosystems. And so for first thing I'll do is I'll just again ask two questions. First of all, how does living things when they die, how do they return to the earth? You know, they obviously decompose, so they become normal, they're part of the soil again, but how does it happen? So that's the first question. And the second question will be, why exactly does it happen? Why does it have to happen? Because I can tell you, if things don't decompose, we wouldn't be around. So the first question is, how does it happen? Well, we have these decomposers. I mentioned the actual top point says, what is the role of the decomposers? Well, the decomposers are actually bacteria and fungi that make sure that the actual dead things are reabsorbed, nutrients are reabsorbed, and returned to the soil. So if you have something that has died, it's going to be full of nutrients, all those nutrients that it had to have in its body to survive, and they are still in the actual body. But what these fungi and organisms do, they actually feed off it, so they actually feed on the actual living, dead living, uh, dead organisms, and then these nutrients that were inside, it will return it to the soil, so here will be the soil, and all the good stuff is back in the soil. So I've almost already gone for both of those questions. How does it happen? Well, the decomposers, the bacteria and the fungi, they digest the dead living, the dead organisms, and then return the actual nutrients back to soil. And why does it happen? Well, those nutrients, for example, nitrogen or the different minerals which are in our bodies, we need to return them to our bodies when we die to be able to make sure that new things grow again so for example, a plant won't be able to grow unless it has these nutrients. So if there's, if there's no cycle, if there's no cycle, then it won't be able to continue. And these decomposers are the last part of that cycle. And they make sure that the actual cycle continues on and on and on. I'm actually going to go over that in much more detail now. What I said earlier is that we have these nutrients inside living things. And one of the big ones is nitrogen. So this here is quickly an example of the nitrogen cycle. So nitrogen is really important. Why? Because most of our cells have a huge amount of nitrogen in it. So without nitrogen, we wouldn't be able to produce our cells and many of the tissues within our cells and within our bodies. So cells are really important. And nitrogen is an essential nutrient that is required to make them. Now, how does nitrogen get into the soil? Well, there's a couple of ways. There is... Lightning, lightning strike, when lightning strikes, you can actually have put the N2, which is nitrogen in the air, put it into the soil. That's one way. Or you can have these bacteria, which just use the nitrogen from the air and fix it into the actual soil. So this is nitrogen fixing bacteria, which were these ones here. And these are two ways it can get in, but still, it wouldn't be, even if we don't have two ways to get it in, there wouldn't be enough by itself to be able to actually make sure that we can keep our living things to keep that cycle going. So there needs to be another way that we can return nitrogen. At the moment, I mentioned two ways. We can have lightning storms, which turn nitrogen in our atmosphere into nitrogen that's soil that the plants can use in the soil. And there's also this nitrogen fixing bacteria, which fix nitrogen from the actual atmosphere also into soil nitrogen. But then the last one, the last way is these organic residues, which means the things that I have to decompose. This is what I drew earlier, these decomposers, what they do is they feed off dead material, so things that have died, whatever it is, it could be you know, a cow, it could be leaves themselves, all these are dead things, they still have these useful nutrients in them. So these decomposers will feed on them, and then once they're fed, they will re return all the good stuff that was inside the bodies into the soil. So decompose is a third way we can make sure the nitrogen cycle continues. And it's actually probably one of the most important ways. Now, we're going to have a couple of different terms we're going to go over very soon. Producers are 
organisms that use light and make their own energy. So they produce, uh, sorry, they make their own sugar, they make their own food. So they use light, sunlight, to make sugar. Now these are, for example, our trees, our plants, and some of our algae as well. These can use light to produce sugar. But then we have some called consumers, and consumers are the ones who eat the actual producers. So, for example, some of them eat the producers. So, for example, some, like, say, a grasshopper. A grasshopper might eat the plant, and then the grasshopper might be eaten by, let's say, a frog. So these two are consumers. They haven't actually made their own food, but they've had to consume food from other ones. So sugar is one example that they have to consume. Sugar is important for energy. But the other one is the nitrogen. They need to make protein. So as I mentioned earlier, the nitrogen, they get the actual plants get that originally. Plants get that from the soil. That's been transferred to consumers, so animals, by have been eaten by the actual plants or being eaten or having, for example, the frog eat the grasshopper. That's how we can transfer nitrogen from plants to animals. But if there's not a cycle, if that nitrogen is not returned again, we can't continue doing that. And the ones that make sure everything is continued in a cycle are these decomposers. And they're at the end. So when the frogs and grasshoppers die, they decompose. And then you have your fungi or bacteria that make sure that all the good stuff is returned. And then we can have our trees reusing it and the cycle starts again. So decomposers are the last, usually last part of our food chain. I'm going to go over that word food chain soon. But decomposers are important because they are, consist of either bacteria or fungi. And they feed off dead things and return the nutrients back into soil. That was the role of the decomposers. Hopefully that was useful. Thank you for watching.